skies recently as strange noises have been heard above Britain. Low frequency humming similar to that of a running diesel engine have been reported in several villages and towns up and down the country. The sound which was heard yesterday at around 3.15 a.m. lasted on and off until around 8.20 p.m. One eyewitness stated the noise got very loud, especially around sunrise. Another witness reported that the sound resembled that of a trumpet being blown and that he almost felt like he was in a sci-fi movie. Many videos have since surfaced the internet in which we can see people observing the skies. scientists are continuing their studies and hope to find some answers soon. We'll give you an update with this story as soon as we hear anything new. The low frequency sounds that were being heard in the skies across Britain have now spread to major cities across the world. Something that started off as a couple of isolated incidents has now become a worldwide affair. Scientists are calling it a global phenomenon as they still don't yet have an explanation for what is causing the sounds. For the past five weeks, the sounds that have persisted on and off causing many sleepless nights for members of the public. Scientists still have no explanation and are now looking for any plausible reason. One scientist told us that he is not ruling out the fact that these sounds may indeed be of extraterrestrial origins. Welcome, welcome. See here, it's Chris speaking. 
Well, you made it this far into the apocalypse with me. Now I'm going to show you what we've been talking about for four years is going to happen. Is that this second sun will become visible. So watch guys, um, the sounds are real. So the, the birds in the background of the sounds were from the person who did the sounds. That video got like 299 million hits on it. That's where I got the sound from of uh, the guy speaking. Anyways, right now I'm looking to the right of this sun. And I haven't even checked if I'm in the east or the west. I don't want to check. I'm thinking I'm in the north, but I don't know yet. I will clarify that, all right? But on the right, stay with me because you're going to see the second sun so clear. And I'm super slowly zooming into the right side of the page. So enjoy the music. It's going to get radical. Now, as you, as you watch this, this is raw footage, not filtered. I just took a little bit of exposure down so it won't blind you. But then I started skipping here to go to the, you know, to go a little bit like a half hour later. Catching, you know, I don't want to leave the filler in there, which is this cloud. So I got to this point and I said, okay, I'm going to keep recording. And uh, I'm glad I did because, this, you know, doing this live a little bit close to live, I mean, within minutes and then the sun flashes I said okay I got something's happening and I'm still gonna clarify that if it's north but remember this is raw footage this has not been filtered this is in Mexico Guadalajara and this is right there the second that's Wormwood I believe that's Nemesis some call it the black star now on the left notice that black object right there floating away it's not a cloud and a lot of this too, I take it to different filters to look at it before I say something. But right there, that, that red planet, watch it. Okay, see, you know, you watch it separate. Okay. See, and the sun does that, right? No, it don't. But the purple up in the right-hand corner, you know, uh, you got me. It could be Atu. Atu's purple. Um, the big white one, I keep guessing, is sun simulated cranking up because it's hiding the, the whole binary system. Um... And you're going to see a video from me next from Canada where I show you five planets beside the sun plus uh, alien rocks and debris coming down. It's incredible. So anyway, stay tuned for that one. But uh, watch, watch this, watch. So this is why the sky machines, the star shade, sun shade, whatever you want to call it. Um, people say, you know, the lights are on rails. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, I don't know. Um, but you know, some stuff you can't ever prove because NASA's not telling you everything they know. And um, and then they tell you like, the biggest comet ever is coming through. Comet Planet, that is, 2019, I think it's called. Anyways, um, maybe that's because they thought that's when it was coming through. <laughs> but over here, I'm showing you on the right of that sun. See what they're trying to hide with the sun simulator? That's why I call them the sky machines. And you see what Amy found. It's like a projector. And I'm gonna do a little forensic video right after this, all right? So stay tuned. Stay on it. Don't go away. You go away, you're gonna miss something. Guarantee you're gonna miss up close of what that big drive-in movie theater in the sky is. Project Blue Beam. Now you notice how that uh, right around the edge of that orange and then the sun, you know, the second sun down there, the little red one coming up. 
You notice how dark that purple gets as a round up white light? I think that's the planet. That's my take, my opinion. I have an opinion. You guys got an opinion, comment. Don't be a jerk. Don't be don't be telling somebody off about something. Now see, if that's a big huge purple planet behind there, you won't know. Some of these planets are so big you wouldn't know. So anyways, that's my take on it. As we've been going along here guys I've been freeze framing some stuff but simply um, it's unreal what we're looking at here you know that big ring you see around the Sun well that could be that too which is starshade projecting that ring I don't think that ring is that big and I don't think our Sun is that big and I don't think the plasma rise in the morning is that big I think it's all Sun simulator trying to obfuscate what's behind that purple area that's the question because we showed you the lenses and how they're hiding that one UFO carrying rocks out. Remember that? Remember the, the whole swarm of rocks hitting each other, exploding? Well, here you go. You know, Sky Machine working at its best. So what Amy's showing, what she caught was this machine in space working. So what if this is just projected and none of this is real? And what we would actually see, well, I'll have to show you. Let's see if I can find it. It's wild, right? Look at that. This is not normal, folks. All right, let's go do some forensic in a minute. my forensic studio you guys have been here it's pretty trippy um, what this device does over here you have auto contrast by channel which is separate the colors auto contrast histogram which is the vibration the frequency I'm not really sure to my knowledge how it works but it's pretty cool anyway, I'm gonna go contrast by channel okay and then I'm gonna show you Right here, the edges of the, what's carrying this large screen projector. This is like an LCD screen at your house. Now there's the sun. I don't even have this magnified because it's so big. It's like the back side of a TV, but right here, look at, notice the sun. Notice the purple up here and the purple black spot. Remember how we've shown stuff like that? Now what if this is just a projector 
and this see the platform it's like an oil platform like an oil tanker platform right like a big old platform that's floating up there there's some kind of device right there maybe that's a, a light that shines up into it but right here is like a projector you know I'm just speculating guys I'm making a you know but you notice like the, the different color variations we're seeing when well, look on this picture the different color variations okay and so um, I'm just saying it's pretty obvious good capture Amy unreal and this is just contrast and you can see the metal stage we ain't making this you know sky machine thing up you know um, Dominic shows that he gets a lot of slack let me tell you why we're showing it I'm a watchman you know and I'm all about you know got Jesus I haven't been preaching a lot because I've been putting up videos I've already done preaching on and spending more time showing you real precisely what's going on this is the best capture off the ISS I've seen and it ain't fake because I could tell with this this tool so there is projecting that Sun that might be a projector now when you look at this thing through the level sweep I'll go there the level sweep um, it just changes the lighting and I'm gonna start showing you as I fade it out the lighting that is throwing because the light will stay see how much light this thing is throwing I can still show you the, the, the thing up here is all the light that is throwing. See the black object in the corner? Remember I was showing you that before I did that? See, I think it's like a picture in Mexico or somewhere. Or it's like a generic picture and they could change the mountains. But you see how it's showing the red object up there? Now, the other thought I got was um, maybe all this is a projection of the whole sky. Like I'm showing you that whole sky with the red sun maybe they made it up like this picture this is a picture and why is it floating there I don't know I don't know how they would use the light to project that on earth I'm not that um, you know above my pay grade a lot of things are above spellings above my pay grade haha <laughs> but this little tool it just really outlines and defines see the, the definition on that thing now we've been seeing all that pink and red like, like why is there pink and red because this is an actual picture okay let's get another let's get another picture to show you let me see luminous grantus oh look at the sky machines now this like that's kind of scary what this does watch everything that's solid right um, I'm just using the arrow here don't worry about the pink but everything that's solid here right watch it will outline it and give it like a topographic map map this is absolutely mind-boggling so we know that ISS is real or we think it's real right but watch this we're like well that could just be a, a light reflection I can hear people saying oh, this is just a real light reflection off the ISS and it looks square watch this it ain't no light reflection off the ISS Go to the Luminous Grantus. Grantus, it will bring it up, and you see how you can see the with the, with the magnifier you can see the surface, how it's built. Um, wherever there's light, you can really see it. Look at all these objects. Okay, so like if I look at this right here, let's say, you can see what the object is. Now if I bring it down. I think that's your projector. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. But I'm gonna bring the intensity up now. And that's gonna intensify it. This thing's got legs. It's like a platform. There's your projector box. You see, see how it outlines it? Now if I bring the opacity down a little bit, you really get to see the metal the edges that's whatever that thing is up there floating it's like a giant drive-in theater just like I said on my ad giant drive-in theater that's insane right now all you scientists out there come on break it down 
you want to clip this you know join membership so you have total right to use this and you narrate it because some of you people are experts on the IRS I mean ISS but you can't tell me this ain't one of the best captures off the ISS I've ever seen this is unexplained uh, phenomenon right it ain't paranormal this is man-made I don't think this is UFOs I don't think this is aliens I think this is the United States of America and I don't think it's Russia or China they ain't got enough you know they're not there yet China might be there but I don't think China's gonna waste money like this I don't know could be the propaganda machine but look at all this other stuff in space I was gonna show you this if you take a little cruise out here in space there's the surface of the planet your space and you see all the objects that are out there no that's not what the show's about but this tool I could search space and find all kinds of hidden objects that are in the dark and if I say like let's say I run over the the planet that's infrared it will pull it right out well let's say the planet was over here and I've checked it it would show you the planet so it's a good tool to have um, let me show you a, a filtered picture I did on this. That one I filtered a little bit. This one I blew up, so let's see what we get. It might blur too much. Let's go to the uh, magnifier only. This one I clarified a little bit and stuff with the filter. It's still way too big. There's your black spot in the corner. There's your pink cues we see every day. So are we looking at Project Blue Beam? If they shut me down for this, guys, you know, this is just stupid. I mean, I don't know how many other people seen this, but that's pretty freaky. It looks like a scene from a beach. Anyway, I said enough about that. Let me check another one. I could do other things with this, but that's the most important thing I want to show you. I say I always ask what's in your skies right <laughs> well I show you what's in my skies um, clone detector is like if you got UFOs you turn that on and you hit this no clones the UFOs you can see the UFOs cloning because they're exactly like they have like a whole fleet of them but this this thing I call it the drive-in in space Maybe Elon put up one for his Corvette or his DeLorean or whatever he drove up in space. Maybe he put up a theater so he could drive in his theater. <laughs> I don't know if my wife was laughing at me or crying or joking. But you know, Elon Musk did have a car up in space. I'm not making that up. Go ahead, go, go, go research yourself. You know, people ask me, what's the date? Where are we at? Read the page. Either come in in the beginning of the video if you didn't then go back to the beginning and I always explain and show you you know banners and all that and um, that's why I don't answer some of those questions because I know now that I'm putting a lot of information but anyways welcome to the space theater I found with Amy but well, Amy found it and I'm explaining my side of the story Amy can explain her side of the story I see right there they're projecting like a white planet and a black planet then you got all your different colors in your beach areas and your rock I think I know what this is this is definitely a Mexico picture anyways got the run that's your forensic side of this thing I'll talk to you later next video Canada five planets around the Sun not Sun dogs not lens flares actual planet